How's it going everyone? Tweak Tweaks World here. It is winter and that means cold weather gear. So today I went out and rode the bike and I realized it is time to break out the cold weather gear. Uh, now for some of you, winter means nothing because you live in a place where it gets a whole 60 degrees, if that, in the winter. Or some of you are like me and you're like, hey, winter, who cares? That just means I get to wear more gear or I get to give my wife or girlfriend an excuse to go buy more gear. So if that is you, then listen up. Today's topic is going to be heated gloves. Now, normally I know that with my review videos, I have multiple things here to show you. Not the case today. Uh, I just have one pair of gloves that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I don't have the money to go out and buy five pairs of heated gloves. We all know they're really expensive and that would not make any sense for me to do that since I'm not getting anything out of it. I love you guys, but not that much. So, without further ado, today I'm going to jump into my particular favorite. Now, before I got this glove, I have tried out other heated gloves. Uh, and I did think that this one was the best bang for the buck. So I'm not showing favoritism just because it's the only glove I've tried. I have tried other ones out there. Um, I just like this one. Um, I know that some of my friends are going to give me crap for it because I have friends in the industry that are direct competitors of this company. So they're probably going to try to call me out on some BS. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so what I have for you guys today is the Fly Igniter. Now, there are different igniters out there. There's the Pro and the Regular, and there are some differences in them. But today, I just have the Regular Igniter for you. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to let you know that if you're an online shopper, um, I'm seeing it anywhere from, I've got it written down here, from about 160 to 180 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which .coms that is because I want you to go in and order it from a local just, or sorry, a local dealer. Um, even though I don't even work at a dealership anymore, I'm going to stress that. Guys, order it from a local dealer. I know you hate that. I know you can get it cheaper online, and I know you can get it shipped directly to your house, and you can get it quicker. But you're seriously helping a shop out when you shop local. When you need to go get that part or like swing by and grab an oil filter because they've got it just sitting there waiting for you, and they shut down shop and they're not going to be there anymore and you won't be able to do that, you're going to be kicking yourself for buying online. I buy online all the time, but not before checking local. So just plug that in, think about it before you do it. Now, when you get the glove, uh, it's going to come in this bag here. Nice little bag, zip up. The bag will house both gloves, both batteries, and charger for, uh, for the gloves. Um, it's a little zip-up bag. Now, I don't know if it's waterproof or anything like that. I don't think it is. Um, but still, something nice to keep the gloves in. Um, here's what they look like here. We'll throw them up. Check them out. Look like a pretty standard gauntlet uh, cold weather glove. Now, the biggest difference between these and some of the other ones is they are wireless. Thank you, lithium polymer technology. These little tiny guys here, you get one each, one per glove, pack 200, I'm sorry, 2,000 and 200 milliamps of power. This little thing right here has that much power and it outputs it at 7.4 volts um, on its highest discharge rate, which I don't know what the cell discharge rate. Some of you are like, oh, you're killing me. I want to know what that burst rate is. Some of you have no idea what that means. Don't worry. It's not important when we're talking about this. So on its highest setting, um, Fly is saying they're getting 2.5 hours out of, a, uh, out of a battery. That's on a full charge. A full charge does take about two and a half hours. So as long as it takes to charge it, it's saying at 100%, it will last that long. Now I've ran these gloves at 100%, and let me tell you, that's extremely hot. Um, I very rarely have them up that high. Uh, I did a ride last year where the high was about 20 degrees and there was some wind action going on. And that was the only time I've ever ran them that, um, that high of a level. Also, if you're doubling it with heated grips, you won't, man, I'm telling you, you're going to burn your hands up. I normally run them on a two, uh, level two, which is 66%, or level one, which is 33%. Um, on level two or the second light, flies came in, you're going to get uh, three hours out of those. So you're going to pick up an, effort, excuse me, an extra half hour for turning it down. 
Again, guys, if you're running heated grips, you won't need it. You can honestly run these on the lowest setting, um, which is up to four hours run time. Four hours. Um, now, I know a lot of you are like, man, you know, I ride eight hours a day. That's fine. Not a big deal. You got to eat though, right? So you stop, throw a charge on these bad boys. Even if you sit down for an hour, you're probably still going to get another hour out of it. I have charged and discharged mine many times um, from dead to full. And also it seems like whatever I charge it for, that's what I'm going to get out of it on its highest setting. So in other words, if you go full throttle on level three, and you charge it for an hour from dead, you'll get about an hour out of it, it seems like. Now backing it off to one, you might get two hours out of it. So don't worry about running these things down, you're fine. Um, the lowest setting, I will say that uh, it doesn't heat up as quick. So what I normally do is I plug my batteries in, crank it up as high as it'll go, put the rest of my gear on, and literally as short amount of time that takes, these things are hot. Go ahead and turn it down and just kind of let it hold the heat there. It works pretty well. Um, now, the batteries uh, are lithium polymer. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. LiPo for short. Um, they are in a hard case. They are safe. You don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Um, they've got a very simple connection design. The same connection on the charger is also the, the same connection for the glove. Um, the glove has the connector stowed inside this waterproof pocket here, um, waterproof zipper. You're just going to pull the connection out it's got a nice 90 degree elbow. Hope you guys can see that there. Plug this guy in. Um, oops, let's do that. And then slide it in the pocket. You see, I didn't have to finagle it in there. I didn't have to put it in there a certain way. It just slides right in. Sits on top. If you've never handled a lithium polymer battery before, you'll know. I'm sorry, you won't know this, but if you have, you'll know that they are very light. Um, once I have it on, very simple design here. I'm gonna press that first button. You'll see it light up red. That's letting me know that the glove is now on. It's gonna go ahead and start warming up on its lowest setting. I can press the up button again, and it's now on level two. And one more for level three. Minusing it all the way back down until the lights are off. That's gonna go ahead and turn it off. So simple, you can't mess this up. Um, as far as the glove construction itself, they did their research, and they were smart about it. So the outside layer is that Hippora, or however you pronounce it, waterproof, windproof lining. Um, I've rode in the rain with these numerous times just as a uh, waterproof glove. They do a killer job. They do have a breathable membrane in them, so if you are in a situation where it's raining and it's maybe springtime, and you just wanted this to be your go-to uh, rain glove, you don't have to worry about sweating in your hands, or the, sorry, your hands sweating real bad because they do breathe. Um, if you are worried about, like, well, if they can breathe, surely they can't be warm. Guys, they took care of it. 3M, insulate. Surely you've seen this out there with gauntlet style gloves. Almost every one of them have that. It's great technology. It's been around for a very long time in the industry and it does a very good job of keeping your hands uh, nice and dry. Now, some other things to talk about with this glove. Let me get this one pulled is that it has a pre-curved fingers for added comfort. You can't really notice it here, but there's a nice little curve to them. That's gonna help with the glove not wanting to bunch up when grabbing on the handlebars. And depending on the size of your grip, obviously you're going to have to close your hand more or less. Sometimes with the uh, winter gloves, the bulky ones, they'll uh, bunch up and you just don't get a good firm grip on your handlebars. That could be dangerous. Um, another thing is they are touchscreen compatible. Now, some issues I have ran into is when it is so freaking cold outside that you're running these, a lot of times the touch screen on the, uh, on the phone doesn't want to work as well. Also, depending on what screen protector you're running could play a factor. Um, honestly, it's more so a GPS thing, what they've done here. Um, another thing about the fingers is they all have the, um, the genuine leather and palm, in the palm as well. So to reinforce that we don't have to worry about snagging them or tearing them up or anything like that. Um, they have an adjustable wrist strap here um, with this little sew away clip. So after you make your adjustment, you can just slide it into that clip and this strap isn't flying around. Uh, it's got the strap. We got the leather on the palm as well as the fingertips. 
We've got the a retention strap, so you can trap that heat inside uh, on the, the you know with your, with your gauntlet style glove. We're gonna put it over the jacket, or if you want to run it inside the jacket. We've got wireless heated technology. We've got a quick charge time of two and a half hours, possible run time of four hours. Let's see what else. Oh, we've let's not forget. We got 3M insulation. We've got windproof Hippora outside liner as well as waterproof. Guys, you can't get a glove that's going to do all this for under 200 bucks. Um, that's wireless. I've seen gloves, you know, uh, I don't know, 100 to 120 for just a thick insulated winter glove. No heated technology, wired, wireless, none of that. 120 bucks. Why not spend the extra 40 to 50 bucks and get that wireless heated technology? You can take these to football games, baseball games. I mean, any type of sporting event where it's going to be outside. Any event where you're going to be outside uh, and your gloves are going to be exposed to the element for a long period of time. That's the nice thing about this. It's not just a motorcycle glove. I've taken these ice skating, um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm very happy with them. Um, I've had them long enough now that I feel like I can have this honest opinion about them. Fly does a really good job of producing stuff that is very competitively priced um, without sacrificing uh, quality. If I had to list cons, I would say that their sizing chart is off on these. Um, I had to order a medium and I normally wear a small in all the gloves I have. So I will say give yourself an added size gap, um, especially if you're someone that likes to run a glove liner. I know a lot of you do. Uh, other than that, I'd like to see a little bit maybe uh, longer run time for the, the battery or possibly even a way to charge while riding. Um, that would be really nice, but since there's only one outlet for the battery, you can't charge and discharge at the same time. Also, I don't think lithium polymer technology allows that. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of my followers out there, you're doing more than a four hour ride. That is kind of a downfall, I understand, um, but there isn't, I mean, the only other thing you could do is run a heated, I'm sorry, a wired glove, and I freaking hate that. That's just that much more crap I got to plug into my bike, and I got to worry about if I come disconnected from it, or if it snags on something and I come disconnected from the jacket. That's another thing. I don't want to have to wear the jacket to wear the gloves, to connect to the pants, to connect to the bike. I don't want wires. I don't want them on me at all. Um, so it's pretty nice. I don't know if I mentioned it, but on the charger, um, it does have two connectors on there. So you can charge one or two batteries at the same time. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Um, other than that, it just plugs straight into a DC outlet. It's super simple. All of this stuff fits right back into this bag for when you're storing it. Uh, I actually pulled these things out. I didn't charge these batteries or anything. I have not used these since winter of last year. These batteries still had a charge on them. Now I didn't run them, obviously you guys just saw me, I turned them on and that's about it. But still, um, they didn't really discharge on me or anything like that, which was really nice. Um, other than that, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review video, I'm going to try to do more of them. Um, I know that you guys have been asking for the helmet one, it's just every time I've tried to record it, it's like two hours long because there's so many helmets. So I'm trying to get that compressed down for you guys because nobody wants to listen to me talk that long. I appreciate you guys just watching me and listening to me talk for as long as I do. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, thumbs down it. But if you're gonna thumbs down it, at least comment. Let me know what you want me to do differently. So you want me to shut up, say hey, shut up. I don't care, man. I just want feedback, guys. Anyways, I hope you're out there riding. I uh, hope you're being safe and I hope you're having fun. As always, this is Tweak with Tweak's World. See you guys later. Bye.